Hi there with uh, StockMarketLive.tv. Today we are going to comment on uh, Snapchat uh, crash, the meltdown that you have here as of closing bell uh, $18, pre-market uh, $17 and a half. And this was the expected scenario. Uh, I downgraded Snapchat uh, ahead of earnings to junk, uh, price $23 and a half. IPO, I downgraded Snapchat at a price of $28.18. I've been discussing uh, Snapchat IPO since the very first day. And I told you that you are going to become a multimillionaire following my real-time uh, recommendations. And the proof of it is precisely all the trade alerts that I issued in real-time across uh, basically all service here at StockMarketLive.tv, including uh, the service for very small investors. I'm referring to Bull and Bear, High Performance, uh, one subscriber paid 50 years of uh, service fees and therefore today also on Twitter we announced uh, that uh, uh, we are raising prices in uh, those services. Having said this, uh, uh, we are going here to comment on this article. The article contains an explanation with regards to uh, uh, autonomous trading and uh, our algorithm. Artificial Intelligent Algorithm slash Snapchat uh, price target ahead of earnings. This is precisely what happened uh, and the information that you received as a subscriber. But uh, I strongly recommend you to read the article because it contains a list of uh, investment firms, uh, scammers uh, in Wall Street. Goldman Sachs buy $27 price target. Morgan Stanley overweight $28 price target. City buy $27 price target, RBC outperform $31 price target, Jeffries buy $30 price target, Oppenheimer market performer, and Credit Suisse outperform $30 price target. Well, you can continue and so on. Cohen Research outperform $26 price target. This to say what? That these firms were precisely the same that they were downgrade in Tesla in 2010, Goldman Sachs with price target $21. I already referred to this. Cohen Research, precisely the same firm that upgraded US Steel to $60 ahead of US Steel crash. And therefore, it is obvious and clear that you have this news on uh, uh, everywhere on the internet. US Steel suffers the biggest stock collapse since going public 26 years ago. And you had my recommendation in real time to sell short and downgrading US Steel to strong sell at a price of $41.69, saying US Steel is going to crash and it crashed. Today it is a stock worth $20.40. All right. In the same article refers here to Vieira strong sell, junk rating, as well as Nikolai junk rating. Okay. So the chart that you have here also. Available, it is public on the website tradingview.com, downgrade to junk. Obviously, all subscribers here, they already had short positions. And I discussed the stock until the very moment that the company reported earnings. Because, like I said before, you have to inform people ahead of earnings what the shares are likely to do, or therefore whether it is important to have a long position or a short position. All right? So Snapchat shares, they plunged, they crashed, US still the same, advanced micro devices, Twilio, every single stock that I discussed here crashes and melts and the algorithm that is behind here, all this stuff has been discussed here for 30 years in a row, okay? So no losses whatsoever. If you uh, lost money, um, buying shares of Snapchat, you can follow the recommendation that you had in the article that was made available yesterday, buying shares of NVIDIA that today rallied all the way up to $130. Other alternative that you had was to listen to my comments in real time on Twitter. Obviously, in real time on Twitter, complementary, buying more shares of NVIDIA at a price of $100 and a half after hours when everyone was selling NVIDIA. Imagine they were selling NVIDIA at $100 an hour. I mean, 
for God, instead of dumping Snapchat, no, they were selling Nvidia. I mean, for God's sake, man, what do you want? Everything is possible. You have this list of Wall Street firms, anything is possible. So, what did happen to the bulls in Snapchat? You are a customer of these investment firms? Exactly. Do you understand? You are dead, bankrupt, and we are raising targets. Raising targets, in this sense, is we are increasing pricing plans, all right? Thank you, and good luck investing in Snapchat going forward. Bye.